We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Hey, what's going on fam? It's Don here from Piggy and Don. Piggy has a lot of stuff going on today. She has a lot of stuff she wanna get accomplished. And so I'm trying to prep for it. It's cold out here this morning, y'all. So it's gonna be a pretty short intro. But uh, anybody who's been watching the channel for a while know I've been trying to get Piggy to go camping. There's a type of camping that I particularly wanna do and it's called boondocking. Now boondocking is basically where you don't have even the conveniences of an RV park. Cause you know, you can always take your RV to an RV park and hook it up to a water line, or hook it up to a power outlet and stuff like that. And to me, that's not really camping. So for boondocking, you go out there where nobody else is. There's no power, there's no water, completely off the grid. Problem is, okay, so how are you gonna sustain? One of, the real, one of the most important parts about being able to sustain out there on your own is keeping your food protected. So, Peggy and I have been fortunate enough to receive this. This is an actual refrigerator, right? Supposedly, it can run on the cigarette lighter in your vehicle. A refrigerator that cools and freezes that runs purely on the battery from your cigarette lighter. So since we got a lot of stuff to do today, um, I'm gonna try to go ahead and get this set up before Peggy gets up. And we're gonna take this out with us and put the food in there. And I wanna see how cold it gets. But for right now, I gotta, I gotta go ahead and unbox it and get it set up in the trunk. So first off, we wanna thank Bodega for sending us this 36 quart refrigerated freezer for us to test out. Uh, that's a blessing right there. Uh, it has three-stage battery protection, so I looked that up, and that's supposed to prevent the unit from draining your car's battery, so you're not stuck on the side of some uh, on the side of the road somewhere, unable to start your vehicle. I wouldn't have thought about that, but that's a pretty important uh, feature for these refrigerated freezers, these refrigerated freezers to have. Uh, it uses the same amount of power as a 60 watt light bulb, exactly 60 watts. So it's hard to believe that you can power a refrigerated freezer with just 60 watts of power. It has an app that allows you to control and monitor the uh, temperature and it's very easy to use. Hopefully I'll get a chance to show y'all that. It has this little divider so you can divide between the refrigerator section and the freezer section or you can remove the, divide, the divider and have a large freezer or a large refrigerator, whichever one you want to set it up for. It comes with this 12 foot uh, cigarette lighter cable and this uh, 12 volt uh, AC power supply and to hook it up all you got to do is plug it in through the side on the on the motor side and then hook the other end to your cigarette lighter we'll be doing a more thorough review in the coming weeks uh, but and there'll be a link in the description all right fam now i know i just got started i mean the unboxing was easy you take it out the box and you plug it up that was it so so far so good um, and I just noticed something else. Um, our SUV here has a outlet in the trunk. Hey, good morning, fam. Good morning. Welcome to another adventure with Peggy and the Don. All righty. We got a lot, like I said earlier, we got a lot going on today. We're trying to hit a few stops to try to make sure we prepare for the new year. So we are ready to get this day started. Yep. Looks like it's gonna be some snow in our future, <laughs> in the near future. Yep. So yeah, we are out getting with another top off. Yeah. Because again, <laughs> we went through a lot of food having people over. Yeah. So 
We're going to do a top off this morning and I'm going to try to get as much as I can. It's time to start purging because I have a lot of stuff. So we're going to take down the trees and stuff like that and then try to get the house back to normal <laughs> so I can see what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to give away. Not throw away, but give away. Exactly. First stop, Walmart. I guess we're going to get a few items from there. And we'll get some bins and try to declutter and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, we're going to test this little refrigerator out. It's running in the back. And I'm trying to show y'all guys how, how that's working. But so far, so good. So we'll see you at Walmart. Now, when you in your car, you be driving so fast. You in this car, you barely know. Is this car, like, it's, slower than yours? This car is high. In fact, if I turn faster, it's going to, like, tilt or something. Now, what car you know <laughs> that you drove and it tilted when you... Now, see that? You will, My car is heavier than your yeah, car. It got that do it. It's all about, like, uh, cent, uh, we call it, uh, dang. I'm going to tell you what you call Center it. Center mass. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> She is always complaining about me driving too fast. Now she say I'm driving too slow. We barely made the light <laughs> on my side again. <laughs> I'm just exhausted thinking about all, thinking about all the stuff we have to do because it's the new year and you're supposed to make sure your entire home is clean. And so I have three levels of cleaning to do. Yeah. Don't that's know a, how to do it. That's something I heard a while back. You know, I heard that um, you got to make sure your house is clean before New Year's because if you're cleaning on New Year's Day, you might end up cleaning all year long or something like that. I know that's an it's old... It's something like that. So that's kind of old a, wives' tale. Yeah, it's old custom tradition but, or whatever it is. Hey, I'm going with it. So <laughs> I'm going to start cleaning today. I have three levels. So. My room, my man cave, has never been junkier. I am so surprised that Peggy hasn't said anything about it. I am proud of him. Now, don't be proud of me for that. That ain't nothing to be proud of. That's shame. But, when I walk past this room, I just shut the door. I'm like, I don't even want to see it. But I am going to, not today, because we got so much other stuff to do today. Yeah. Not today, but we got, I'm, I'm going to get my man cave done before New Year's. I hope so. That would be nice. Yeah. It's not too much to it. You know what I'm saying? It's just, there's a lot of stuff that need to be thrown away. I am stuck in the middle. Yeah, I'm stuck in between. I am stuck in the position. I press the machine. So you're stuck in the middle, huh? Guess we're stuck in between life is a riddle, yeah. And I don't know what it means, no. This is what it feels like. But you're not alone, cause I'm just like you. Let's share out and hitchhike. There is nothing we
what's up, fam? We just got out of Walmart. We they got a few uh, meats. So I'm going to throw it in the uh, new fridge we got. Uh, and it's powered on even while the car is powered off. I'm just going to put them in the fridge part. I'm going to put the uh, frozen food in the uh, fr freezer part. So we got this in the freezer part. And we got this food in the refrigerator part. Fridge. We're going to freezer or the fridge? Freezer. Freezer? Mm -hmm. Okay. And there we go. Well, seal it up. Good to go. Personally, I'm loving it. You can check it with your app and tell you what the temperature is. You can set it on high power, medium power, low power. If the car is off, it automatically goes into low power mode. So I'm loving it so far. Hey, what's up, fam? We just finished with the Walmart part of our day's journey. Mm -hmm. uh, Peggy wants to go to Home Goods and grab a few items that she needs for the house. And I like Home Goods because I don't have to go in. <laughs> so I'm dropping her off at Home Goods, and then I'm gonna go grab me something. I don't know, either some breakfast or some coffee or some swing through Best Buy for a little while. I tell y'all what. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember See, last week? You was like, it's 60 degrees out here. It don't feel like winter. But it seems like the temperature dropped since we left the house. Yeah. Donald dressed appropriately, and I did not because he all he tells me this all the time. He's like, wear your big coat, piggy. And I'm, I'm you know, <laughs> a woman of a certain age, so I'm always sweating. Uh-huh. But I wish I had grabbed my coat. But I, I left my coat in his car. So sometimes when we uh, take my car, I forget to switch things out. Yeah. But anyway, the, I think that was a successful trip. Uh, Peggy got a good deal on those little plastic bins. Yeah, two dollars. But yeah. yeah, it was a great deal. Yeah. So. So, heading to Home Goods and uh, let Peggy do her thing. You sound so happy just because you ain't got to go inside. I, you know, I hate, I, I'm telling I'm not a fan of shopping at all, baby. I don't even like shopping for myself. I don't like walking around the store. I don't know what it is, but somebody said that they we're spending quality time together. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> somebody else said that. You know why? They, because I'm, I'm steady telling him, put that back, put that back. You're not getting all the candy. No, 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 <laughs> no, yes, no. We saw some candy that was 50% off uh, Christmas candy discounted, and I picked it up, and then I put it back over my own you did, accord. You did, you did. Over my own fruition, or whatever it is. You did. So, I, I can't, I gotta yeah. give you credit. You did. You put it back. Yeah. So, so that, I'm, I'm proud of you. Peggy had to get the good cheeses, but like I said, we'll cover all that later. <laughs> see how he do me, y'all. See how he do the me. The good cheese. Now, see, we was talking about him and his stuff. Yeah, okay, so you guys know the double, the, the big box of cheeses that you get from Costco. I don't like those big, hard, well, okay, I'm not going to say they're big, but they're small. Mm -hmm. And they're to me, they're pretty thick. And so if you eat two or three in your mouth at a time, they're like mouth drying agents. Ah. That's why I like the big cheeses <laughs> because they're thinner, they're crispier, and they to me they just taste better. They have a better taste. Okay. So uh, last night my grandson, you know, well Trey is over with us this week, mm -hmm. and he wanted cheeses, and I was like, here you can have these. <laughs> now normally when you give Trey some cheeses, that bag is gone. Yeah. This morning it's maybe ten missing. Yeah. <laughs> They're just so. Hard. I think I got everybody spoiled on the thin. I'm, I'll show you when we get to the house what I'm talking about. Yeah. Costco travel. Wish you were here. Vacations, cruises, and real cars. My life wasn't perfect. Yeah, I know that now. When it came crashing down, all I know is that I need you around. When it comes crashing down, all I need is not to feel so much alone. So step inside my zone, baby, you can give me everything I want. 
everything I want. Always dance and sing. You captivating me. All I need is to know that I'm in your heart and never be apart. All I need is not to feel so much alone. So step inside my zone, baby. I can give you everything you want. Everything you want. Look at the size of these shrimp. You can't even call these shrimp anymore. Oh my goodness. Since the grandson is here, we have to get more fries because Donald will definitely be out. He's so proud of that fries. <laughs> what kind of fries are those? That's good. I don't know what kind of fries. Glorious foodie. Halloumi fries? I uh, know. I want to know what they are. <laughs> Sanitize. Donald's hands feel like cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> you have definitely got man hands. There you go. Working I, man's hands. I accept that with pride. Hard working man <laughs> hands. Uh, these are hands that create, that defend and protect. Well, y'all know what we do. How your hand look just now? My hand don't look well. <laughs> so we had to get our hot dog and our soda for $1.50. dollar fifty. And this time, I did not forget the mustard or the napkin. Yes, he did not forget. <laughs> Are you having some? I'll take a bite. This was a successful day because the weather tomorrow is calling for rain and snow. Yep today all the way up to New Year's Day. So this is basically the last day to shop. This is our last shopping <laughs> trip of 2020. 2020. Yeah. Because we're not coming out in the rain and the snow. Yeah. Yeah. Got to go home and make my little checks. It's just it's not calling for ice storm or anything, but I just want to make sure we're prepared for whatever. Well, this is St. Louis, so you never you know. You never know, so. Hey, fam. So we have made it home. And this haul started out very small. I don't know how it grew to be as big as it did, but I thank God that it's more complete now. So anyway, let's go over the things I bought. So at Walmart, we got the cream of chicken soups. And remember, these are 50 cent a can. So when I get this case, it's $6. And then when I get the pinto beans, for some reason, they're 55 cent a can. So, times 12. <laughs> All right. And so, for me, we got these uh, crispy battered whole fillets. And these are for my grandson since he's here with us. He doesn't eat meat, so we get these for him so that he could eat while he's here. And Donald loves a good ribeye steak, so Walmart had that pretty good, $10.48. All right. And this uh, bacon 
on cured bacon. This was $2.50. And I got this thick sliced bacon. I like to eat this with my avocado toast. I think this was like $3.50. And I like to keep sweet Italian sausage around so that when I'm making my pasta dishes, I like to use sweet Italian sausage. It's the best thing ever. And then uh, turkey, ground turkey. When I make my chili, I use this ground turkey. This was a little over $7. So that's all the meat that I got from Walmart. I really tried my best not to get my meat from Walmart, but sometimes you can't help yourself. These were $1.97. If you guys remember back when I bought that uh, waffle iron, these make the biggest fluffiest waffles you will like Donald could probably he can't I don't think he can eat two full waffles because this is really a thick good tasty mix and I think all you do is add water to it all right so in the car I was trying to tell you that I only like <laughs> the big Cheez-Its these are my favorite these are two dollars and 33 cent a box so I got three boxes that's enough for me that's enough I don't eat them every day and then you got the lemon because I'm going to use it for my salmon and I drink with water and I cook with lemon too for my chicken and everything else. So this was a good deal. I think this was like uh, $3 at Walmart. And then I have my onions here. These I got two bags of them and these were $1.96 a bag at Walmart. Everything here is from Walmart. Okay, so then you have your Lysol. We looked up and they only had two Lysols left because we were getting low because I have been spraying this stuff like crazy. All right, and so then we get sweet chili. We use this, you know, as a dipping sauce. All right, and then we use a lot of Parmesan over the Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays. So we're just trying to replenish that. And then Donald loves a good Arizona tea a cup of tea he'll warm it up he says it does wonders for his stomach as a calming agent so i don't know and then we're replacing the ginger ale that's down in the basement that we've been using and then we uh have these waters that we have upstairs in that little refrigerator in donald's room so you get 15 of these for two dollars so they do fine for us since we're upstairs. We don't like coming up and down the steps. This works perfectly for us. In the middle of the night, if you get thirsty, you can just bring, uh, go in the room and get water. And then we like to also fill the fridge upstairs with ginger ale. This is the only soda beverage that we drink now. Donald's got the whole family hooked on ginger ale. So that's all that we have. One thing I did not have in my pantry was the Rotel tomatoes. So I I like these because we like to make that chili cheese dip and you have to have these tomatoes to make that dip. So I, I got four cans of those and then we're just going to place one of the chicken broths. I think we have enough. So we'll find out. And then Donald is drinking this milk. It's good for his tummy. So we had to get him one of these. I think we have two more frozen in the refri in the freezer downstairs, but we'll find out tomorrow when I go down there and look. And then I just got this green giant iceberg lettuce for a salad. I know it has no nutritional value, but I still like it in my salad. It's fine. Trust me, it's fine. <laughs> And then we're replacing the spaghetti sauce that we used over the holidays. So I got four cans of the traditional sauces. I got garlic, oh, I got a garlic and herb, that's okay. Cause I mix them all up anyway. And then we ran out of fettuccine noodles, period. I have pasta noodles, but I ran out of fettuccine noodles. So I got four boxes of the fettuccine noodles. Walmart had these for 92 cent a box, okay? And then I got these little uh, seeded deli uh, buns. Walmart sells those uh, Philly cheese steaks, the little frozen steaks. And all you have to do is brown the ground beef, uh, ground the meat, and put it on this bun with a little cheese. They are so delicious. So that's why, that's why we have these. And I want to say these buns were like $1.96. All right. So then let's travel on over to the dollar store. I just grabbed Q-tips. I just felt like we were out. I, I didn't put that on my list, but I just grabbed them. I felt like we needed them. 
So we'll see what happens. But anyway, I, I did not have body washes in my stash. So I went to the dollar store and I got body washes, the VO5 for men, three in one. And I love Arm & Hammer products. Sometimes I use their deodorants. So I'm sure this will be just as well. And then uh, somebody's <laughs> been in our deodorants. So I'm re-upping the deodorants. So I just have some here for women. The men's are still full downstairs. And I love this Fabuloso. Now, I haven't tried this orange yet, but I love Fabuloso. And I'm just going to try it. I love the citrus smell. This is the one that I love. But they, they only had two. So I grabbed the two that they had. And I got these two just to see what it smelled like, what it would do. And so then I got these refill bottle soaps. And they're, they're both antibacterial. So... Uh, I got two of those, and then, again, the Dawn dish detergent, also antibacterial. I got six of these, so I just like the individual sizes. I can't explain it to you. I like them, and these, I got these are hand soaps, and I got four of these. Just like I say, I'm just refilling what I have downstairs. The potatoes we have downstairs have been down there for quite a bit, and they're just starting to sprout. And I'm going to see exactly how long these last. I know people say if you put them in the bottom of the refrigerator, if you put them here, if you put them there. What works best for me and my family is that we leave them downstairs in a cool, dry place and we cover them in a box. They last for up to six weeks. So that's good enough for us. So we're, we're, that's what I'm going to do with these. So we're going to do that. And then um, Costco has these breads two for four. Two for four ninety five. Great bread. Yeah. All of their breads are good. Yeah, this is twelve grain, and Donald fell in love with the buttermilk. Makes the best grilled cheese sandwiches you could possibly make. Yeah, and so you know, I keep these Kool Aid jammers for the grandkids. Anytime they come over, I want them to have it. They can have a treat, and then they had this salmon that Donald and I are going to have for dinner tonight. So. That was a good deal. It was $15.90. And of course, I always have to get the party wings. So I just cut up, you know, these are already freeze dry. Um, you know, they're sealed for you. So all you have to do is really just cut them up into six individual bags, mm -hmm. right? And so I air fry these and they are so good. And this was $22 from uh, Costco. And then we got the fruit snacks. As you could tell, almost in every video, you're going to see fruit <laughs> snacks because they tend to go through these things a lot. They don't understand that this is supposed to be emergency snacks. So if we run into an emergency and they don't have any, they don't have anybody to blame but themselves. I'll just keep trying to replace them. Uh, then we got the All Right, or This is the Best Deal in Town. So you get this big eight pound family bag of crinkle cut or rider fries for $5.99? Yeah. $5.95. Okay, so we have some already in the deep freezer. We're going to pull those out and put them in our working pantry and replace this down in the freezer. I'll show you that in the next video. All right, and then I don't know if you've ever tried Costco's loaded baked potato soup. This stuff is so delicious. Like I say, Donald will sprinkle some uh, cheese on top and he'll put some bacon bits and warm it up. And sometimes if we have green onions, he'll put that on there as well. Best little side meal you could have. So we love those. All right, and then um, the Irish Spring. I'm not a big fan of Irish Spring, but I will use it in a crunch. And then I'm telling you, if you have not tried Viva Signature Cloth. Make sure you got this green stripe across the front. Signature Cloth, the absolute best paper towel for absorbency purposes that you'll ever have. And these are selector size. Mm. Selector size. So if you have a small spill, you just take one out. These last quite a bit, but Right now, you know, with the holidays coming and all, uh, we've gone through a lot of them. So I'm just replacing what we used over Thanksgiving, Christmas holiday. So that was our small slash huge re-up. <laughs> and uh, 
I'm tired now. <laughs> but this was our last uh, shopping trip for 2020. Yeah. Thank you for joining us and let, thank you for joining us. Hey, hey fam, remember to get there and do something good for yourself. And for others as well. <laughs> and for others as well. Take his time. I'm tired. I wanted to end it. I didn't want to end it that way, oh. y'all. Have a blessed, happy new year and a prosperous new year to everybody. I pray that everybody have a safe and prosperous new year. And let's pray that we get through all of this together. Okay? Nah, nah perfect. <laughs> all right, fam. Y'all take it easy. All right.